welcome back to the daily light a couple of you have asked where i've been well i was on a family vacation to disney and then right after that when i came back it was back to school time and i know a lot of you moms out there will totally understand me when i tell you it got hectic both of my boys are now full-time in school and just adjusting back to that was crazy but i'm back because god's work does not stop so for those of you that attended mass yesterday you heard the parable of the crafty steward and one verse that really stood out to me is from Luke 16 starting in verse 10 which says he who can be trusted in little things can also be trusted in great ones he who is dishonest in slight matters will also be dishonest in greater ones so if you have not been trustworthy in handling money who could entrust you with true wealth and if you have not been trustworthy with things which are not really yours who will give you the wealth which, which is your own? Now, this is so much deeper than money, but let's talk about money. A couple of years ago when I was working, I never understood why I wasn't earning what I thought I should be earning. I was pretty entitled. I, I felt like, well, I'm putting in work, I show up, you know, I should be earning more. But that's not true. That's not how God looks at it. God looks at how well do you administer your money? Because at the end of the day, it's not really yours. It's not really mine. God is who decides who gets what. Now, if like the verse says, if you can be trusted in little things, so are you the type that you get that paycheck and it's gone in two or three days? What do you do with it? Do you first give to God the 10% that belongs back to him? Are you responsible with it? Are you saving it? It doesn't matter if you get paid minimum wage or if you get paid, you know, $2,000 a week. What matters is how you administer what you're given. And that's what determines if you will be given more. And I've had a pretty rough the last couple of years with administrating money, but I really had to learn how to budget myself, how to control myself, how to give to God what belongs to him and how to really save and spend my money wisely on the things that matter. If you can't do that, you won't get more. That's the only way you get more. Because remember, it's not really your money to be earned. It's God who decides who he gives what to. So look over your finances, if you're struggling right now, and ask yourself, how could you do better? Where are you spending money on that you shouldn't be? And I'm gonna tell you something else that's even more important, give. The more you give, especially out of your poverty, when you feel like this paycheck isn't even going to cover my own bills, when you give out of there, sincerely, genuinely out of your own heart, God will multiply what you have and give you so much more. And that's hard because you want to like clench onto those dollars, but let go and trust in him. And that's when the true wealth really comes in. Have a blessed day.